Whether you are a music producer, sound designer, or just someone who wants to add just a little bit punch to your mixes, there are a lot of plugins out there to help you do that. But there's only one plugin that I think is the best when we are talking about Transit Shaper. <laughs> Hello everyone, DJ Legion here, welcome back to the channel. For those of us who want to achieve the perfect mix, we often find ourselves in situations where the kick is not working really well with the rest of the drums, or the 808 has a really loud attack. This can be a huge problem because then you might think, maybe I should change the 808, maybe I should change the kick, and so on and so on. Yes, searching for another sample is a solution, but it is very time consuming in my opinion. Fortunately, there are ways to get around this and it is worth the try. In this video, we will talk about Transit Shapers, what Transit Shaper is and how you can use a plugin to change the beginning and the body of every sample. I'm going to use the plugin called Neutron 4, which includes a Transit Shaper tool. If you have seen my other videos, I always tend to say my opinion if a plugin is good or not, even though none of these videos are sponsored by anyone. So let's go now and explain what transits are. The transit is the very beginning attack of a sample and usually the loudest part of a sample. If a sample has a sharp transient, then it means it is really loud at the beginning and then quickly gets quieter. If a sample has a weak transient, then it means the attack is equally loud to the beginning of the sample in comparison to the body of the sample. Now I'm going to use Neutron 4 to make it visually able to understand. Now let's go here and solo the kick and we are going to change the attack and the sustain of the kick and have a listen how it sounds. Now for example I am removing some attack from the transient. Now let's go and add some attack on the transient. Let's also increase the sustain from the transient. And let's have a listen how it sounds with and without. I think it is easier to understand now that the attack here changes the sharpness of the kick and the sustain changes the body of the kick. But before we go on, I would like to remind you to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. It will help the channel a lot. Now let's go on and I will explain you why I really like the Neutron 4 plugin. For me there are three main reasons. The first one is the different modes that we have here, the precise, the balance and the loose. The precise mode has the fastest recovery time to the next transient and is the most accurate. The loose mode has the slowest recovery time and will add the most amount of sustain. And balance has, as it already says, a balanced recovery time. The next reason why I really like also the Neutron 4 is because here we can also choose the shape that we want to use on our transient. But the most important function that Neutron 4 has is the multiband transient shaper. So that means here I can choose between three different bands here. And I can say, for example, here I want on the lows, I want the kick to have not so much attack. Let's say I want the mids here. Let's put it on four. Uh, I, w I don't want so much attack also here. And let's boost a little bit here on the highs. We can go also here and change the sustain a little bit. Now let's have a listen how it is with and without. It is day and night guys, seriously. Now let's go here and see on, on our track how we can change the kick to make it a bit better and sound better here on our mix. Let's loop this section here and I'm going to delete it and just play everything. Okay, 
after listening here the track, I think here we can make the kick a little bit smoother and I would always suggest you always listen to the track and then make changes that work better because otherwise you may think that it is good, it sounds good, but in the track it can sound like really bad. So let's have a listen here, let's go and try and apply what we learned. So here I will take out just a little bit the high frequencies, the, the attack from the high frequencies. Because I want to make the kick a little bit smoother. Let's go and do the same here on the mid frequencies. I can go here and make the sustain a bit bigger on the low frequencies. Let's go and try also take some sustain here from the low frequencies. Now let's go and play with and without. I think here now you can understand right away guys that with the transition shaper we made our kick to sound smoother so in this case we achieved our goal a transition shaper plugin whether it is called neutron 4 or it is your plugin from your dome it is an essential tool in your production arsenal in my honest opinion a lot of people skip this plugin but i would rather give it a chance if i were you for me the neutron 4 is the best plugin to achieve a good shaped sound it might take a little bit more time to bring the sound where you want because you have so many more options in comparison with just one fader from your plugin from your dome. But the final result will satisfy you. What's your opinion about transient shapers, guys? Do you use them a lot? Let me know, please, in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and you learned something useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to improve your mixing and producer skills. See you next time.